missing 411-inch series of books written by a former police detective David Paulides. He documents unsolved cases of people who have gone missing in national parks or elsewhere. Paulides believes that he has uncovered a mysterious series of worldwide disappearances. He doesn't suggest any theories on what is causing the disappearances, but Paulides advises his readers to go out of their zone of comfort to find the culprit. Many experts say that all those disappearances are non-mysterious. They explain that there is nothing unusual in sudden health crisis, drowning, animal attack, or even deliberate disappearance. The cases mentioned in the books are real. Paulides worked out several criteria to qualify missing 411 cases. He believes that inability of dogs to pick up a scent is quite common for missing 411 cases. He mentions also that many deceased were found without pants or boots. Paulides states that voluntary removal of clothing is totally irrational in most circumstances. But there's the phenomenon of paradoxical undressing, when people experiencing hypothermia feel hot and remove clothing to cool themselves. Another criterion is finding a body at distance or elevation away from person's last known whereabouts, usually a few miles away. Since the missing people were described as deeply experienced and in good shape, the fact that deceased was found a few miles away is non-mysterious. Here are some missing 411 cases. Danny Philippidis went missing in February 2018 during a ski trip. He went on run down the mountain alone and didn't return. The team of 130 people couldn't find him. But six days later, Danny's wife received a strange phone call, she heard Danny's voice, the man was confused and was unaware of his whereabouts. The woman pleaded with him to call 911 for help, when he described his surroundings, the paramedics could finally find him. Danny was found in Sacramento, California, that is 3,000 miles away from the place where he had been skiing. The police believed that Danny was kidnapped, but no evidence was found. 2014, James McGrogan and his friends were on a split snowboard trip in Valley, Colorado. His cell phone and a satellite GPS system were on. Since James was much faster than his friends, he promised that he would wait for them at the next stop, but never showed up. The search was futile, there were even no James's tracks discovered. Five days later, the body was found on elevation of 14-mile hike. That area had been searched before but no one had seen James until that day. His skull was crushed, his ski outfit and helmet were still on, but his boots were never found. James's cell phone and GPS were still working, there was a cell phone signal, but he never called for help. The death was called accidental and the case was closed. 